Looks like the firewood pile is getting low. Time to top it off. I cut mine shorter than 16 inches. I just like the way they fit in the stove better. And uh, I don't know, I haven't even been, I don't think I've been out here an hour yet. Maybe I have. But in about an hour to an hour and a half's time, for those six logs, I'll finish splitting those in a second. And uh, this pile, that's enough to last about two weeks out here. So uh, as you can tell, you know, keeping yourself warm is not on a homestead it doesn't have to be you know a lot of work it's good exercise i mean a good hour of exercise out here it's good for me but uh and now i have a couple of weeks worth of firewood and so do the dogs because they've been staying inside it's been too cold but uh anyway i'll finish this up and then go inside this little bunny lives underneath the shouse. He's got several entrances. I keep covering them up because it's winter and the cold air gets in there and can freeze the pipes, but he keeps digging new ones. And he's going to have to... He's grown a lot. Last year he was, he was a baby. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to have to do something about him, Mr. Peter Cottontail. Here he comes. I'm here to his hole underneath the shelves. Here he comes. Yep, into your hole. It is a beautiful second week of February morning, Saturday morning. And uh, it's about 10 a.m. The current temperature is 30 degrees Fahrenheit and uh sun shining it's going to be a beautiful day the temperature should get up to about 50 fahrenheit today so that'll be good i plan to have the whole day to get some projects done around here i actually have two lists of things that need to be done here pretty quickly and um, some i'm going to need some help with uh, other of it i can do myself so uh, that's what i'll be doing today just trying to get some stuff done around here Oh, look at mountain. Isn't it beautiful? I know it looks far away on this uh, camera, but I've zoomed in as close as I can. But, you know, f to my eye, it's almost on top of me. So, and you can see the uh, line of peaks just going off toward the north. All snow covered and beautiful. Whole valley is surrounded by uh, uh, mountains that are snow covered right now. It sure is a beautiful view.
here i got all kinds of stuff in here i've got different kinds of oils solvents cleaners degreasers parts cleaners i got spare plugs and spare fuel and air filters um just all kinds of stuff this will be a a decent spot to keep this you know it doesn't get very very hot here so keeping it in this metal uh, container is not really a, a big deal i mean high temp around here in the summer is like 85 and if it gets too hot i just you know prop the top open like this and make sure it's okay okay another project would be to remove all this metal hardware from these stake sides these are dumpy's old stake sides i got to get the wood off of there and conserve the metal uh, in case i or somebody else someday wants to uh, rebuild these stake sides so but roscoe is telling me it's time for an airplane break so let's try it out roski you ready <laughs> don't eat it come here if you eat it you can't play with it anymore <laughs> I was wondering how long it'd last. <laughs> At least he was gentle with it. He didn't tear it up too badly. Hey, Reba. Okay, you want to try it, Reebs? You ready? Let's go downwind and see what we get. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, saws all. I forgot I had it. <laughs> but it uh, <clears throat> did an okay job. I wasn't able to cut all the hard hardware off that I wanted, but I think that's the only piece I wasn't able to get that I wanted. But anyway, there's also another piece of stake side, the front part on Dumpy, which I'll get off later. I just, there are other things I want to get done today, so. But I'm glad I got this out of the way. Clear the space where I can move the tanks and, and stuff like that. Here's our boneyard. <laughs> uh, since we got the dogs, they've been dragging everything up here uh, that they find at contentment in the way of bone. And, uh, you know, we, we take it away from them. And Robert made this little enclosure um, to, uh, to, to uh, toss the bones that they bring up because she didn't want them into them. She was afraid as dry and, you know, sun bleach as they were, that the splinters would hurt their mouths. So, anyway, there's a little bit of everything in here. There's elk, deer, uh, coyote. Uh, let me see. Here is a uh, mule deer antler. Oh, man, there. there's a mule deer antler. Uh, this is an elk hoof. Uh, it's an elk hoof right here and some of these bones you'll notice are cut that's because they were dressed you know in the field after they were hunted and uh, you know the rest just left out here uh, yeah just all kinds of stuff no human stuff thank goodness but uh, <clears throat> quite a bit of regular bone it's time to clean this up get it out of here the dogs aren't as uh, curious about this stuff anymore as they used to be so uh, i feel safe taking this down and disposing of all this bone because i doubt that they'll bring much more up now that their you know curiosity is sated so anyway time to clean this up we got most of it up ground is still a little frozen so uh had to dig up a little bit to find other bones but You'll notice I'm putting this in a trash bag. I just, I thought about putting it over there in the burn pile, but I don't want the dogs getting into it again. So uh, about once a week, I have to take a bag 
into town and dump it. I've started doing, I started trying uh, to do some recycling. And, uh, you know, the problem is that you can't recycle everything. You still have to dump stuff. And there's so much, there are so many plastics in packaging uh, nowadays that uh, recycling won't always take. But let me show you what I'm doing so far. I, I keep some paper and cardboard in this one just because I don't want it blown around. But uh, got bottle, a glass in there, plastic here. You can see how much plastic there is in containers these days. And I thought I had metal. The metal must be in that one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this one's almost full. I'll have to take it to the recycling station to dump it off. Um, but when these are full or near full or to the point where it'll be hard for me to handle them because they're too heavy, because these are 65-gallon barrels, I'll go ahead and take them, load them up on Rusty or the Dodge, and uh, run to town and dump it. But yeah, that one's almost full. What you doing, Bobo? So there's the weekly trash bag. It's pretty heavy. I'll just throw it in the bag of Rusty. Take it to town. I'm going to go to town tomorrow. You know, one thing I do not want to do with trash here at Contentment that a lot of people do out here is dig a hole in the ground and start dumping their trash into it. Just not interested in that. <laughs> I don't want to trash out this property. Um, in as much as I can help it, I don't want to trash out the property. And uh, so I just, uh, yeah, we have a lot of land out here, but I just don't want to dump trash in it. There are too many people out here who dump trash along the side of the roads, the county roads and, you know, stuff like that. And it just angers me and I'm not going to do it on my own land. So I would rather you know, be dependent on the grid, at least in the short term, for this part of living out here. But uh, we're going to have to find a solution sometime soon. Maybe the solution would be that if I go to a store or shop or something like that, is to remove everything from its packaging when I'm right there at the and leave it in their trash cans uh, before I bring it out here. That might be the best way to do it. That way I'm not having to haul stuff around. care if these valves get hit or anything like that this is a this is a tank that I was gonna convert to something else anyway I just don't want it to roll off onto the other of course if it does that wouldn't be so bad there's a lower pallet there has other scrap metal on it I'd like it on there if it'll go Let's see if I can get it to go uh. <laughs> uh, well, we tried. Well, I think that's where it's going to have to sit so I can get out here with uh, Dinah, pick it up properly, and put it there where it needs to go. So, this tank is bad. I tried patching it, priming it, let it sit for a long, long time with a little bit of fluid in it. And, uh, it uh, it was going great. It went for something like three months. Uh, and then I thought, okay, well, the tank's been patched. It's good. It's holding its patch. Therefore, I can go ahead and, you know, put the white paint on it that I want to. And I came out here to do that one day, and the patch had reopened and was leaking. So this thing is no good. Um, I'm not going to try patching it again because the hole is on the bottom. Come on.
well, I'm not going to get this tank up here today. I just, I can't, I can't figure out a way to ramp it up there. It's got to go almost a foot on this end to get in the back of the truck. And it's too short to get under it and lift it up. It's too, uh, it's, it's not long enough this way to get leverage on that end and push. Uh, I've been trying to crank up and stick stuff under it, but it keeps slipping back down. Okay, so we got these totes moved over on the other side of the container. This is a good out of the way place for them since they're not getting used. All right, so this place is still a mess. <laughs> I got all the totes away from the north side of the house. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of other stuff I gotta get cleaned up. And um, I'll work on this. I gotta clear this area so I can get Buzz put back in there. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I got a whole lot. Um, and uh, so it's getting cold out here. I'm gonna go in, but um, it's getting, the day's long. Uh, the uh, the uh, shadows are long, but um, before my eyes, and they're moving across the plain. Anyway, suddenly the day will turn into night far away from the city. Um, so I'm going to have to, I'm glad that I got the stakes cut up at the stake sides cut up. It took more time. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on doing that today. It took some time, but I'm glad I got it done. And uh, I've got to get this pile burned before the spring winds arrive here in March. So we're about approaching middle of February now. So I'm going to have to do it pretty, pretty quickly anyway. So that's it for today, right, Reba? All done today, right? Yep. <laughs>